girls trip creating my own antidote take it slow travel coast to coast wearing fashionable clothes It's all about the antidote. It's my life, my way, the end. It's all about the antidote. It's my life, my way, the end. It's all about the antidote. It's my life, my way. Hey, what's up, you guys? I am packed and ready to go. In case you ain't paid attention to the title, we're going to Vegas. Girls trip. My cousin and her son, they're on their way to pick me up. Oh, oh, wait. Did y'all see the hair? Did y'all see the hair? Uh, something different for me, and I think it's going to look amazing once it's old. But anyway, I think I, they're pulling up right now. Let's go. Aren't you so excited? Next year, seek. Plan directed. Hold the tabs. Remove the pouch. If present, remove the strap from around the pouch. Tear open the pouch. Remove. safely and now we're gonna try to find some transportation to get oh here we go look 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 the sign you see in everybody's video yes I toss and turn, I keep stressing in my mind I look for peace, but see, I don't attain What I need for We're here! 
so excited. We're about to check in real quick. So let's go see what this room hit info. You gotta jump in. It's like double dutch. Because the doors go by them. Oh, that smell. Chaotic. The gorge. Oh, right here. That's where we check in at. I toss and turn, I keep stressing in my mind I look for peace, but see, I don't attain What I need for keeps this silly game we play, play Oh, now look at this Madness, the magnet keeps attracting me Try to run, but see, I'm not that fast. All right, y'all. We just left the room. Y'all saw it. It's fabulous. What you think, Ty? Loved it. Uh huh. It is a little older, right? But it's okay. That's what you expect from the Bellagio. It's nice. It's super clean. Super clean. That shower. I can't wait to get in that thing when we get back but right now we are about to go to in and out and just grab something real quick because we have a dinner planned tonight and um so we're gonna come back and get dressed and then go and have dinner but anyway let's get to in and out y'all see the water dance Dutchman, we're gonna see what it tastes like at In N Out. Now, I love In N Out. We're gonna see what it tastes like at In N Out, but I'm gonna make it at home too just to see if I can make it better. But let's see. They are. Right. But I need this to line up properly so I can fry it. Yeah, give you no knife. How you supposed to cut this flying Dutchman? No knife. Oh my look. Well, guess I'm supposed to take this little paper. Okay, hey, look. Got my lettuce. Ooh, okay. Ty about to try hers. I'm recording too. <laughs> yep, and it's onion on the bottom. Onion on the top. Mm. Look, we both said, mm. Mm. Oh, yes. So good. Uh-huh. So good. Now everywhere I go. Huh? Now everywhere I go, if I see it in and out, I gotta get it. I got a, hold on, I think it's called like a protein style. Uh -huh. I got the lettuce bun. And I just got some. Lettuce, tomato, lettuce of course, cheese, and ketchup and mustard. Mm. Oh, so good. Must try. Okay, you know how regular hotels <laughs> charge you fifty dollars a night for incidentals. Okay, yeah. This ain't a regular regular hotel. They charge a hundred and fifty a night for incidentals. But when you check out, yep, you get the you get the three hundred back in seven to ten business days. Okay, but this is the thing, Ty. Remember how I said we're not gonna touch any of that stuff right there. We ain't touching nothing. We ain't touching nothing, nothing. <laughs> because she said that it comes out of that and. If I get close to only having a hundred left on the the mm -hmm. docket mm -hmm. or whatever freak they call it, mm -hmm. they're gonna charge me another hundred and fifty dollars a night. Nah. 
So See, we thirsty. We got that water right there. We came in this room. That stuff was in there. This it ain't moving an inch of a pinch. You hear me? Hmm. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Don't you touch a freaking thing while we here. <laughs> Cause I want my three hundred dollars back. I want my three hundred dollars back. Okay. So act right. Don't you ask me for nothing. Girl, I'm so ready. <laughs> I was just like, uh, sis, what's going on? What is happening here? Yes. I mean, whatever. It, it was just, I, I knew it was going to be a fee. You know, like, I didn't, I, uh, I knew it was going to be a fee. But the lady who checked us in, she didn't say, oh, and it'll be $300 for incidentals. She just said, here are your keys, ma'am. Have a great time here in Vegas. And, I, and here I go. <laughs> well, thank you. I plan on it. And boom. That's exactly what she said. $300 later. We got it. <laughs> not a goddamn one chip coming out of that little packet over there. But we're about to get ready. We just got in the room. Like, as soon as we got here, we dropped our stuff off and left. We went to In-N-Out Burger, y'all saw. It was good. It was so, so good. I tried the Flying Dutchman, and y'all know I'm about to make that at home. Since I think I can make an amazing burger. Actually, I can. Not think. I know. Um, I can make an amazing burger. I gotta find a place to charge my phone. Um, I'm gonna make that with some sweet onions. And what? Girl, and then they had a nerve to charge me three hundred dollars and don't have no outlet. Yeah. And why they don't have a? Um, Without. Look now, I'm complaining about the hotel. Bed in the trash can. You have to sit outside. Let me get this ice out. Um. Is this for real? Child. But we can't order food at the pool. That's good to know. Yeah, uh, well, she, I didn't ask her, but you can order food from the restaurant here. So, um, I can't find my charger. Anyway, I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. We're going to get situated, rest a little bit, and then get ready for poppy steak. I feel like a real YouTuber. I see a lot of YouTubers go there. You know, that's a part of the YouTuber starter kit whenever they, like, go out of town. <sighs> the dream is being realized. See y'all in a little bit. As you saw, shower, just put my clothes on. I'm gonna show y'all the OOTN for Ty and I both if she's down for that after I'm done. But just real quick, I'm going to do what I do for makeup because y'all know I don't really wear makeup right now because I don't know how to apply it. And I think it's gorgeous, but it's okay, Austria. Our lesson's coming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take off real quick what I have on and I'm just using this uh, micellar water. Um, this one right here can take off waterproof mascara. So I like the one with the blue top and I like getting the little one too because I don't wear anything often enough to get the big one. So I'm just taking it off real quick so I can reapply it. Um, make sure y'all are in slow mouth now. So far, I think the trip has been good. Would you agree, Ty? Huh? The trip has been good so far? Girl, yes. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to brush up these brows because we got them tinted. And y'all see, they don't seem like they're too dark anymore. To me. If you got something mean to say, don't you say a word. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, I really, really like them. I am going to wear this uh, Givenchy eyeliner tonight. It's a waterproof. Um, well, I thought I was going to wear it. Did I bring the wrong one? Yup. I don't know what's happening here. Honey. Let's see. What else do we have? Okay. 
So a different Givenchy. We're going to use this, um, what is it? What do they call it? The Magic Kajal Stick. And basically it's a dark eyeliner. I actually love this. It's just real, real thick. So, you know, sometimes you have a little spillage. And for my makeup artists out there, I ain't trying to teach y'all nothing about makeup. I don't know nothing about it. I'm just doing what I know how to do. Eyeliner. <laughs> so I'm just going to outline my eyes. And I just messed that one up. Look at that. We're just going to let it be what it is. I'm going to wear this YSL um, mascara. I used to wear um, lash extensions uh, at one time. But I had to stop wearing them things, y'all. Because every time I would go and get them done, I would leave there with red eyes. Like the glue somehow would seep into my eyes. And I went to a really, really good girl too. Um, and it would seep into my eyes. And I would leave with my eyeballs burnt and it would be like that for days it's just not worth it you know i'd much rather um wear my natural lashes and just deal um, i know i didn't put that on right but i don't want to put too too much on so anyway and then on my lips i am actually not gonna do like a liner or anything i'm just going to wear this explicit by mac and all the girls from back look i don't have this thing so long you don't even have mac on the side but this is explicit by mac i've been wearing this for years if it ain't broke i'm about to fix it and to me it is not broken all right ta-da sarah's makeup sarah's way but when i get my makeup lesson we're gonna be putting some real makeup on anyway let's talk a little bit about the outfit actually First, let's talk about the jewelry that I have on. Then I'll show you guys the outfit, okay? So on the ears, I just have my regular diamonds that I always wear, you know, in the extra holes that I have. But then in the main one, I have um, some Chanel studs that I bought some time ago. Just the classic ones. You guys have seen these a million and one times. I've, I'm not wearing a necklace because the one that I bought just simply does not go. Does not go. On the wrist, I took it back. I took it back. I don't know if y'all remember, but um, these beaded bracelets, people used to wear them a lot some years ago. And when I was like digging through things, trying to pull outfits together, I stumbled upon my humongous stack of these bracelets. And I'm going to be wearing them every single day because I was just like, I mean, they're just sitting here. Why not just whip them out for Vegas? So you guys are going to see this little, you know, drawstring bracelet thingy. Um, then rings I always wear. Now let's get to the outfit. Let's get to the outfit. <laughs> All right, long mirror. All right, so something fairly basic bedding. These little itty bitty shorts. Hold up, do I still have a tag? Show. I'm gonna take that off. But these little shorts that I got from Red Shorts. I don't know if it's showing up as red that I got from Revolve. They have these little slits in the front. The little shorty shorts. I feel like I'm stuffed in them, but my cousin said I'm not. Um, and then I have this top right here. It's a button up that I have kind of like crisscrossed into the shorts. And I think that's why I feel stuffed because it's a lot of shirt right here. But what else am I going to do? And the red on the sleeve kind of goes with, not kind of, it goes with the shorts. And then I have on this little... Um, what is this leopard print? Leopard print bralette up underneath. You know, just peeking out just a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. But nothing super duper special. I'll show you guys the shoes. Actually, let's go get the shoes, y'all. The lighting isn't the best over here because all you have is like these little spotlights. But um, inside, so the restaurant has a dress code. And the dress code is like you can't wear flip flops. You can't wear, I, I don't know. I feel like something like this wouldn't be acceptable. And it really doesn't go. So I bought the most comfortable heel. I had and that's this Gucci wedge so I'm gonna throw those on so that I can look a little taller with my shoes but anyway y'all it is what it is I'm gonna be honest with you I don't really care for the outfit <laughs> I don't but we're here and we gotta go with what we got right like I can't change my mind it's the first night we doing we going to dinner like y'all real close 
it ooh, real real clothes but anyway it is what it is i'm gonna put my shoes on and we are gonna go because i'm sure the car will be here soon so i will talk to y'all in a little bit on the move guys there's ty she's nice and comfy with her flats on and i'm suffering it's like nah i'm not suffering but anyway yep to the left to the left okay let's go to papa's I'm so excited! <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to walk fast because I don't know what. I'm getting poppy steak. I'm getting poppy steak. <laughs> look at the look at these shorts. I should be look at it. We all got them. We all got them. It's them kids. Kids, if you're watching, this is what you all do to us. Look. She said it. Mm -hmm. Look, and here I go. We gotta hurry up. <laughs> but let me get this right here. <laughs> we made it. So excited. This is a gorgeous tie. This is unreal. I put that on my, on my, on my, on my, I look fly, I look good. I look good. Waiting for our table. No matter what I do, all I think is you. What it is, hope, what's up? Every good girl needs a little bit of love. You can go over, you can move faster than you are. When you put your feet. dollars per suitcase i recorded it for y'all because i needed y'all to know it's some money in vegas single girls <laughs> anyway let's go back to the chateau for the weekend gym time we're about to go work our body yaddy yaddies out Well, we tried to go to the gym and there were no treadmills available. So we're about to go to the buffet instead. A perfect alternative. We are going to be doing so much walking today that I think we'll be okay if we don't, you know, do 30 minutes on the treadmill. So let's just see what the buffet is hitting for because I don't do buffets normally. But it's Vegas. It might be good. Alright, 
this place. Unreal. Unreal. This is my second time here, but I really like to take it all in. But today, we are taking it all in. You hear me? Amazing. Amazing. The best morning walk I've had since I started trying to get my 10K a day. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Saturday. Y'all saw Ty and I already went and we tried to work out in the gym, but it wasn't a goddamn one treadmill available. Not one. And honestly, as big as the Bellagio is, you would think that the gym would be like twice the size that it is. But they had one? They had a oh, one. They had one available. Out of order. But it was out of order. <laughs> so that didn't help us at all. And we both are treadmill girlies, but it worked out perfectly because, and you're in the back of it, just so you know. Oh, okay. It worked out perfectly because we ended up just like walking outside. Even though, you know, of course, that's all we do here in Vegas is walk. But we like intentionally walked outside so that we could get steps in you know like burn some calories and we ended up at the forum shops i'm not gonna show it to y'all yet y'all gotta wait till tomorrow but absolutely gorgeous a, a amazing experience we actually also stopped by the place that we're gonna go to tomorrow morning to like you know do a little shopping around and you know all of the things before we head home but anyway it's saturday we're going to a few places today but of course you know we got to start our morning with a breakfast <laughs> we went to a place inside of the villagio the villagio called snacks right mm -hmm. and they had like a little breakfast there i didn't get any coffee because um i wanted starbucks we went to that starbucks honey that line was so freaking long skip starbucks we're gonna order it before we head out a little bit later but from snacks we got we both got the same thing we got breakfast potatoes can you see them you probably thought the lighting in here isn't the best but you probably can't see all of the deliciousness that i'm tasting on these breakfast potatoes so good but i had all kinds of things too like parfaits they had um breakfast pizza and i'm 100 percent sure i'm popping in pictures so that you guys can um take a look at it very very interesting didn't try anything interesting we just got breakfast potatoes and a croissant a bacon egg and cheese croissant so let me try that real quick for y'all so you can see the potatoes are delish ty you like the sandwich yeah the sandwich okay i give it a seven because my bacon's not crispy uh okay okay but here is what it looks like for me she said the croissant itself is really good it looks buttery but let me see mm. okay it's all right. They put this aioli on it, like a spicy aioli or something, which I'm okay with. But it kind of tastes like one of them frozen breakfast sandwiches, to be honest with you. Like all of it together. Mm -hmm. You know, like the stuff that the kids eat. Them frozen breakfast the sandwiches. The croissant seems fresh to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the egg for me. Remember I told you yeah. I like fresh eggs? Anyway, it'll do. It'll give me some fuel so we can go and have a funky good time the rest of this day. And that we're going to do. Anyway, let me go ahead and eat. And then I'm going to see y'all after we get dressed to go to our next destination. Not going to tell you what it is yet, but you're going to find out in three, two, one. All right, y'all. We are about to hit the road. We are all dressed. I'm going to show you guys our OOTDs. If Ty want to do one too. Oop, you already see her in the background. We're colorful today because we're going to a place where most people wear pink at the very least. I have pink on the bottom, but you'll see that. And then we're going to another place. Y'all know I have an obsession with going to see random art installations that are on the side of the road. And I found one out here in Nevada. So we are going to go. And I ain't going to lie. I ain't really find it. I saw that Jay-Z and Beyonce went there some years ago. And um, I decided whenever I visited Nevada, just like Prada Marfa, I decided that I was going to go and stop by. So this should be super duper cool. And then after that, we're going to go to the Las Vegas Rosa Mexicana. And I know you guys probably are like, Rosa Mexicana? Y'all are kind of high. Rosa Mexicana? Um, you can go there anytime. Like, yes, there's one actually at the National Harbor in Maryland. I'm sure it's one in D.C. But the one out here, it's a little bit different. Like, everybody wears pink because the entire place um is pink from what i could tell online i'm sure it's areas that's not but also 
if you order chips and guac. When you order it at home, you get regular, regular chips. Out here, you get pink chips. And then they have like menu items that are not at all of the Rosa Mexicana, so definitely worth going. Anyway, so we're gonna do that afterwards. I don't know if we're gonna have like a real meal there or if we're just gonna get like, you know, a drink, a cute little drink and the chips and guac. We gonna see what happens. We gonna see what the vibes are looking like. And then we're gonna come back and go to the pool because I wanna lay out by the pool. I have so much content that I wanna get at the pool. I bought so many things that I wanna like shoot there and and just capture for you guys anyway let's do our OOTD let me just flip y'all around okay here is mine wearing a black top we actually are kind of wearing our opposite I'm wearing a black top and uh, pink shorts and bright shoes because the rocks are colorful and then this necklace I used to sell jewelry some years ago and this came from that line and my little itty bitty purse Ty you want to do one okay Look, so I'm not used to this. So this little purse right here is from Angela Roy. Just a pink tank top I got from Target. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, I think I got this from Target too. So I'm Target. Okay, I'm Target okay. for the win, honey. Shoes are Michael Kors. Jewelry are from random places. I can't mm -hmm. remember. And you see, she says she don't know how to do this. And look at her. I ain't even. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. What else you want to tell the um, people? Is that it? That's it. I ain't even tell y'all brands. I don't remember, honey. I think this is J. Crew. This is my outfit online. My shoes are Alexander Berman. My purse is uh, Burberry. And we already talked about the necklace. I used to sell these things. That's all the jewelry I have on. Anyway, see y'all when we get downstairs. Okay, you guys. We made it. We are here. We're heading to the beautiful rock. There's a lot of people here. Um, surprisingly I wasn't expecting that but we had a, a super nice Lyft driver who uh, is waiting for us so we won't be here too too long we're just gonna get our footage and head back to the car you excited Ty yes <laughs> all right y'all let's see what we can catch you guys look look so amazing I'm using my phone um, cause obviously y'all are right here. I wanted us to take a video together. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, let's get some good video. Yeah, no worry. That is so cool. They did. Oh, look at this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't it great? Chris. I know it's my dream. I have goosebumps everywhere. <laughs> this is out of this world. What a birthday. I know. Happy birthday. Okay, you guys. We are all done. We weren't even here that long. But um, this is so good. That turquoise one, so good. Like, all of it is just so freaking good. I'm so happy we made it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. If ever in the area, you guys definitely should just take the trip do the thing look at this i don't know if it's coming across on camera but it's freaking amazing if you're ever in las vegas 20 minutes down the road yeah all right now let's go get something to eat This is so beautiful, you guys. So, so beautiful. I am so happy I wore my pink. So gorgeous. Like, so real. Okay. Alright, now let's see.
we are back in the room back in the hotel we had a good time a very good time y'all saw we went to seven magic mountain that was just an amazing experience similar to prada marfa but mm, nothing will talk that okay not for a fashion lover but it was good it was good ty and i both if she's in the background she'll yell out if she got anything to add but ty and i both had like a really really good time um we were only there for a short time and thank god for our lift driver because he was just like oh you guys probably aren't gonna be here that long i'll just wait for you so that's what he did and then when we were done he dropped us off at uh rosa mexicana because we wanted to go that's what we wore the pink for uh it was really really beautiful definitely would love to like eat in there and actually experience like more of the pink maybe i don't know because i'm gonna tell y'all for me the guac 20 out of 10 every single time every single time can't take nothing away from that guac ever which is what i really love and then the pink chips you know that was just a little added sprinkle of luxe because they were freaking pink anyway so we started out at the bar and then the hostess moved us over to the table we were going to stay at the bar actually but the hostess was like um are you sure do you see the table we're going to put you at she showed me and i said ty we packing this operation up and we are moving over to the table <laughs> happy we did that because that was a good experience for ty she got um, chicken fried rice and she loved it she said it was really really good she gave it a nine and a half out of ten and the only reason that it wasn't a ten out of ten is because of the spice and she doesn't care for the spice did i get that right and then her drink she had mango lime yeah mango lime right mango strawberry mango strawberry swirl frozen margarita um she definitely loved that and would have given it a ten out of ten if the rim wasn't salted we weren't asked, so they threw salt on the rim, um, and the salt got into the drink, and it made the drink salty versus just being a delicious frozen swirl. So that was cool. And then you know me, I like a good old theme, so I stuck with the theme and got the pomegranate margarita. Now I'm not much of a margarita girl unless it's a spicy margarita. I'm just definitely not a frozen margarita girl. Okay, um, I'd rather just enjoy my my drink without the brain freeze, you know. But uh, but anyway, I got it because it matched the vibe. It was nice and pink, and that was good too. Except. It was really weird because my margarita tastes like it had salt in it too and I, I try to like stay away from heavy salt but it tastes like it had salt in it but there was none on the rim so that was a little shocker but the margarita itself it was good like I can't take anything away from that so I would give that a 9 out of 10 again minus the salt then let's talk about the negative okay a couple of negatives the place wasn't even packed this is freaking Vegas and the place wasn't even that packed and the service once we moved to our table was severely lacking we found ourselves like about to cancel things that we ordered because it took so long um you know just like having to call our waitress over it that's not a good experience for me like our waitress should be attentive you know and checking on us but instead we're like waving her over like girl get over here you know like we shouldn't have to do that but we did so that was not good and then y'all I ordered the seafood empanadas, which I generally do not order seafood outside of the DMV. It's just not my jam. But this whole weekend, I've been trying Vegas. I had a crab cake last night, which was delish. And then I got seafood empanadas. And the only reason I got seafood empanadas is because uh, the lady at the bar told us that they were going to be pink. And I'm like, well, hello. Today's pink day. Let's just do it. Empanadas came out, it was a light hint of pink, mostly dark brown with a splash of pink. I could deal with that. Go to bite into these empanadas, y'all. And they were like sponges. So, literally, like sponge cake. Now every empanada I had in my life was crispy and flaky. You hear me? Which is what I was looking for. I was looking for the crunch. 
there's this meme that makes fun of Americans because we like everything to be crunchy. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna answer it. On the type of food Americans love the most. Honestly, I don't have this data, but Americans love anything that has to do with crispy crunchy. These people love when they eat something and it makes crush, crush, groom, groom, crash, groom. If they could have crispy water, crispy soda, crispy wine, crispy tequila, they will go for it. Is that serious? Even their salad, they have the salad they call Caesar salad. After making the salad, they will not drop some uh, uh, particles of breadcrumbs, very dry ones. And when you eat the salad with the bread, you start eating crush, 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 crap. Like someone will be eating spaghetti. Before you open your eyes, they'll just pull out a big bag of, of chips. They have these that are chips here, very in a very big bag. One bite of spaghetti goes with a slice of chips. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, these people love crispy crunching. Have you seen the way they make their fish? Let me tell you, Americans don't make their fish like how we do it in Africa. Mm -mm. See, when they want to fry their fish, they will first of all take out all the bones. Oh, you know, Africa will just fix the fish and fry it like that in Greece. Americans will take out all the bones, they'll peel off the skin, and then they'll put that fish inside dry flour. Uh -huh. Then they also have this thing called butter. They have this, their butter. So this butter is made out of egg, flour, milk, and then they'll mix it. Then they'll, after putting that fish in dry flour, they'll still put the fish again in that butter before they'll fry it. And when they are done frying, the fish will now come out very strong, very crunk, very crispy, crunchy. If you drop the fish in a metal container, you just hear crank, 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 crank. Like, you know when you drop a spoon inside a metal container, the type of sound it's going to produce. That's how Americans love their fried fish and fried chicken. If you ask Americans to name their best fast food chain, they will, they will name the one that has the crispiest or crunchiest chicken or fish if your food is not crispy crunchy don't invite americans they love crispy they are addicted to crispy crunchy like and if you don't do what they'll tell you they are not there's freedom of speech here you ain't doing it right baby i said i want to fry hard i want i want to fry hard i want to fry hard chicken the chicken will become lifeless, like they will fry the living daylight out of it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Crispy, crunchy, and Americans. But anyway, I wanted a crunch. There was no crunch. I had to send them back. I couldn't even like force myself to eat the darn things. I just could not take the sponge. I was told though that at Rosa Mexicana, all of the empanadas are like soft like that. Like it's meant to be soft. But then a lady at the table next to us ordered empanadas and all the way over from her table, I heard crunch. And it wasn't just me. Ty heard it too. She heard it too. That's how crispy the freaking empanadas were. But mine were soggy and soft and horrible. Like the flavor was good. But I just could not get with the consistency. I just simply could not. I couldn't. Anyway, all in all, I probably would give my experience there maybe a 7 or 8 out of 10. Would I go back again? Probably if my daughter comes to Vegas with me and wants to go. Just so that she can have the pink experience. But I wouldn't have a huge or high expectation. We'll probably sit at the bar. Because the people there were definitely attentive. Right now, we're about to go to the fabulous pool. I'm about to go put my things on. I have so much content that I want to get while I'm down there. So we're going to do that and we're going to chill because we're going to a concert tonight. We're going to go see Maxwell and Jasmine Sullivan. Super excited for that and super happy that it's right across the street in Planet Hollywood. As we're in the Bellagio, Planet Hollywood's across the street. So all we have to do is just go through the light, honey. And we did. And we did. After that, we are going to do like a super late dinner at Tao. I've always wanted to go since my first time out here in Vegas some years ago. So we're going to swing by there this evening. Probably just get some light food because it's going to be so late. It's going to be after the concert. Might go to a speakeasy after that that my friend Pam told me about. But I'm not 100% sure if we'll be too tired to make it. It all depends on how the pool goes. Because if we can get a nap in by the pool, 
baby that's what we gonna do okay anyway let me go and put my bathing suit on because i think ty already has hers on you already dressed aren't you ty no uh -huh. oh okay she's probably waiting on me to get out of the restroom anyway let's go put our swim clothes on oh and my essay anthony he's actually in vegas i saw him post it and i was like wait a minute i'm out here too so he might swing by and come to our pool just for a little bit him and one of his friends so if he comes y'all want to see him anyway let's go to the pool The perfect my time. The perfect. All right, you guys. It is time to get ready for the concert. I think I told y'all earlier we're gonna go see Maxwell and Jasmine Sullivan. So this is a part of the fit. Of course, I'm gonna show you guys the full outfit. I mean, it's not really anything going on too much. I have on denim shorts, but I have on this super cute Zara top that I have been hoarding in my closet. The back ain't ready, but it's gonna have to be tonight, okay? Uh, on the hair, I'm gonna keep it to the side, which is why I got this style because I had the option to, you know, like do it in the center if I want or flip it over to the side. And I wanna do something different, so I'm just gonna do a little side action. Um, same old jewelry I've been wearing this entire time my rings, these earrings. I'm not gonna wear a necklace just because. I think the front of the top is super cute. I don't know if I'm appropriately dressed for this concert because <laughs> when I was picking out what I was gonna wear, I was thinking Lenny Kravitz for whatever reason and not Maxwell, which is, you know, all in love, R&B. And I'm not sure this shirt says all in love, R&B, but this is what we got and this is what we rock. Anyway, I did do a little bit of makeup, but nothing super duper serious, like nothing on my face. I just did my skincare routine <clears throat> and then put a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk. It's like a creamy uh, eyeshadow. I just put a little bit on there. Of course, I put my eyeliner, brushed my brows up and on the lips and trying to find what I put on the lips. Oh. It's Fenty, uh, and this is just the Fenty, I can't tell, Major Flex. Major Flex in tonight. Um, anyway, let me show y'all real quick the full outfit. My camera's about to die, so um, I was trying to keep y'all plugged up, but let's just do it. I don't have on my shoes yet, which is so disgusting on this hotel floor, but I just have on these shorts with the little shred at the bottom. Not sure if you guys can see clearly, but this would have been real good for Lenny Kravitz. We're going to see if everybody else is whatever. Anyway, and then on um, my skin and for the scent of the night, I am doing Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I'm wearing um, Soleil Blanc for the scent, or I'm going to wear because I haven't put it on yet. I um, haven't talked to you guys about these yet, but these little travel scents are so good and you can refill them. So I always, any the Tom Ford fragrances besides Lost Cherry and FM Fabul Fabulous, I buy the rest of them in these little small containers so that I can use them and then I can just buy a refill because I'm going to expensive, okay? Um, and in addition to that, I want to sparkle a little bit, a little silver sparkle, a platinum sparkle. So give me one second. I'll be right back. It's this one right here. It is the Soleil Niche. I don't even know what I called it earlier, but this is Soleil Niche. It's Soleil Niche. They have the same scent, but this is the oil with the sparkles in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I did take a video earlier, so I'll show y'all. Anyway, we want to sparkle a little bit, so I'm going to spray this one and rub it in on the chest and the arms. That way we have a slight shimmer. I mean, and it's so slight, you guys wouldn't even be able to see it in the camera. 
Um, but if I see, there's a view that um, y'all might be. I don't know if you can see it on my hands. Probably not, but it's definitely there. So, anyway, I'm going to throw my shoes on. I just have the same Alexander Berman um, sandals because it's so much walking. Actually, it's just right across the street, but I don't want to wear heels, especially with these little shorts on. So, I'm going to put on the black version of the ones that I've been wearing this entire trip and go from there. I did bring a little jacket because it does kind of get cold here at night, which I didn't realize that it might be cold inside of the like theater room or stadium or whatever. So yeah, let me go get my jacket, put my sandals on, and let me see y'all. Um, and I forgot to tell y'all about my purse. So I've been carrying this one today. It's a crossbody, but I just rolled the strap up just for storage. And I'm gonna bring out the Brandon, the Brandon Blackwood um, little case that I purchased for my 22 days of Lux last year. If you guys missed it, you should definitely go look at my highlights on Instagram. And basically, if you don't know what that is, it's just the first 22 days of October, of October, the first 22 days of November, I sprinkle my life with Lux, right? I prepare myself with sprinkles of Lux for the following chapter. So um, this was one of the things that I purchased myself and um, opened up on Instagram or unboxed on Instagram. So, I'm gonna rock this tonight. Yes, it's small. No, you cannot fit much in it. Um, it's super duper cute, but uh, all you, this is like for a going to a concert purse, right? All you need is a card, an ID, a little bit of cash, and you good. So, I'm gonna wear it crossbody. I'm gonna put my stuff in it, but this is it. I'm gonna take a full body picture. But, um, yeah, I got my shoes on. I think I got everything. Ty, you wanna do an OO? Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. you don't have to say sorry. Oh, I can see you. So, oh, you were taking a picture? Yeah. So I have on this top right here. Let me close. Oh, Y'all yeah. <laughs> don't want to see the girls too much. So this top right here, Zara. Um, this satin little skirt. I want to say Zara as well. Um, this purse is from Angela Roy. And I just got, you know, some jewelry on, Michael Kors. There's some earring. I mean, some rings I got from Amazon, actually. Um, these earrings came from Macy's, I want to say, and this some, um, I don't know if y'all can see it, but some Sambas shoes. Yeah, we gonna do a full so, OOTM when we get there. <laughs> dress a little up at the top and dress a little bit down at the bottom, okay? Yeah. yeah. That's how we do whatever we want. But anyway, we gonna see y'all at the concert. Bye. Come on. What's the way I got to cry? And no, it didn't make my broken heart. I'm probably always show you better than we can tell you. Yeah. So if there's any girls like me out there tonight, I want you to help me sing this song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should look like a stripper 
Wearing fashion over dresses Why these dudes be so pressed and pressed Would you leave me with no choice? the end.